Christian. Uh, this is Aloha High School. Aloha in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ through the gospel. Yes, and this is uh, what a wonderful time to have Rich out here again. Debut in a high school. First high school you've ever preached, right? Michaela's ready to go and she has her sign. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You and we can handle a lot of tracks. Praise God. Scripture teaches that we were all born in sin, brought forth in iniquity, shaped in iniquity by and through the fall of one man. The soul that sins, it shall die. So we are, by the mercy of God, kept alive by God, by His grace, um, to keep you. Here's what we have. It's God's mercy and grace that keeps you alive and not dead to show you His glory. And the gospel is what brings life. And this is the gospel of the kingdom of God. The king is coming to reign on his throne forever, the Lord Jesus Christ. And God was in Christ, reconciling the world to himself, not imputing your trespasses to them, but has committed to us the word of reconciliation. So we are here to implore you, to plead with you on Christ's behalf, to be reconciled to God, that the Lord Jesus Christ came to save sinners. God was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen by angels, preached among the Gentiles, believed out of the world, received up in glory. So it's great news. Bad news is what makes good news good, right? We're born with a nature that's corrupt. You're dying because of sin. You die in the body without Christ living in you, covering your sins. It'll be everlasting, conscious torment in unquenchable fire. The Bible teaches our God is a consuming fire. And God will judge the world in righteousness by the Lord Jesus Christ whom he has ordained. He's given assurance of this to all by raising him from the dead. There's one true God, the God of Scripture, the Holy One of Israel. There's one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. And the Lord Jesus Christ is the eternal Son of God, not a created being as all the religious cults would teach us lies about the Lord Jesus Christ. So we need to know Him, know come to saving faith in the true and living God. There's no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. Now you're more than welcome to get some Bible literature here today. We have gospel tracts for you. In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. God made all things. There's no other God but the one true God, royally above all. He sustained you. He's allowed you to live and move and have your being. He created you for his own glory and his own image, but through one man, sin entered the world, and death through sin, and thus death has spread to all men because all sin. And so the Lord Jesus Christ suffered once for sin, the just for the unjust to bring us to God. When the Lord Jesus Christ was crucified, God the Father poured out his wrath upon his Son, after he bore the guilt, the sin, of, the sin in his own body, his people, God made him to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. So the issues, many of us are happy and healthy, young, right, appearance taking care of us, but we don't have the righteousness of Christ. Therefore, we are enemies of God. You need to surrender to Jesus to be saved from this wicked and perverse generation. There's no hope for you outside of Christ. The young people, you're in great danger. The day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Many are deceived, thinking they have a lot of time. You don't know the day or the hour. God will require your soul. As sure as you are that you attend Aloha High School and your name is registered in the classroom, how sure are you about the salvation of your own soul? Oh, friend, death is a plague that comes to all, and it comes in different forms, and it comes at a time you're not going to expect it. But to come to Christ means you come and live. To live is Christ. To know Him, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom He has sent is eternal life. Fools make a mock at sin. And as it is appointed for men once to die, but after this is the judgment, the Lord Jesus Christ was also offered once to bear the sins of many. He will come again apart from sin a second time for salvation for those who wait for him. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life.
in Christ Jesus our Lord. Salvation is of the Lord. You can't earn it. You can't do anything good enough to obtain it. It is a work of God, and this is the work of God that you believe. In Him whom God is said to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, who justifies the ungodly, and your faith will be accounted for righteousness. The Bible says the just shall live by faith. That you can be reconciled to God, have a personal, intimate relationship with your Creator. To be to know Him personally through the cross of Jesus Christ. No religion in the world can bring you to God and save you from the wrath to come. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. In Him we have redemption through His blood. The forgiveness of sins according to the riches of His grace. The Bible says by grace that we are saved through faith and that not of yourselves. It is a gift of God, not of works anyone should boast. So salvation cannot be obtained by your own efforts in any way, shape, or form. The scriptures concluded all under sin. And this is about you being restored to God in Christ or you'll be destroyed by God out of Christ in the lake of fire. There'll be a day that you'll give an account of yourself to God. Don't worry about how your friends view you. Don't worry about how others think of what others think about you. We must look in the Word of God to see what's right in the eyes of God. What's right in the eyes of God. And we see that in the Bible. That God has given us His infallible Word to know the truth. Jesus said, if you abide in my word, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. He who the Son makes free shall be free indeed. When the fullness of the time had come, God sent forth his Son, born of a woman, made under the law, to redeem those who are under the law, that they may receive the adoption as sons. God is light, and in there's no darkness at all. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He who follows me will not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. In John chapter 3 in the Bible, the Lord Jesus Christ said, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Jesus said, You must be born again. And as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons of God. And so if we don't have the Holy Spirit dwelling in us, we're not saved. We're not children of God. The Bible teaches that by nature, we are children of wrath, that our father is the devil. When God regenerates the heart, makes you a new creation, you become a child of God. Through faith in Jesus Christ with a spirit of adoption in your heart. Crying out, Abba, Father. And that's what needs to take place in your life. So you can have a real relationship with the living God. And many, many profess to know God. But by their works, they deny him being abominable, disobedient, and unto every good work reprobate. To the pure, all things are pure. But to those who are defiling, defiled, nothing is pure, but even their mind and their conscience are defiled. That Roman Catholic, and Catholic crossing symbols are so damning, Christ-mocking, dead religious system, they'll damn your soul, destroy you. That's a false call. All those systems add to the work of Christ and blaspheme the Most High God. It is finished. Jesus suffered once for sins forever and sat down at the right hand of God. So if you're a Roman Catholic or you're in any religion, come out from among them. Come out of her, my people, as you share her sins, receive her plagues, come to Jesus. This is your soul. Your friends and your family will not be there to plead your case in the day of judgment. When you die and you're out of Christ, all the sins that you've committed in thought, in word, and in deed are going to be brought to remembrance before God. And God's going to judge you for those things as the righteous judge that he is. That's why you need a savior. Jesus came to save sinners. God demonstrated his own love towards us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Jesus justifies the ungodly. Christ died to save his people from their sins. He fulfilled the demands of God's holiness by obeying perfectly from, from birth to death all the commands of God and then to satisfy the justice of Almighty God, he bore the guilt and the sin of his people and his own body on the cross. And this is done. For those who believe on Christ, it will be accounted to you for righteousness. Come to the Lord Jesus Christ for God.
so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He who believes in him is not condemned, but he that believeth not in him is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. God commands you to repent and to believe in the gospel. There's no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. The name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Out of the heart one believes unto righteousness. Out of the mouth confession is made to salvation. Today, if you will hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as in the rebellion. Humble yourselves. Turn your idols. Cast down all your wickedness. Turn your ways. Your ways are leading to death. He who sins against me wrongs his own soul. And he says, those who hate me love death. You hate God, young people. And you love sin. That is your condition and your indictment. You love drugs over God. Sexual perversion. Sodomites. Lesbianism. Oh, drunkenness. Marijuana. We put these things before God and make them into gods. And that is a judgment of God upon your life as you continue in these treacherous ways. Repent before you perish. Turn from your evil ways before you die in your sins and burn in a devil's hell, a place of conscious torment where the wrath of God is fully inflicted upon the ungodly. The Bible declares the Lord comes with ten thousands of his saints to execute judgment upon all, to convince all who are ungodly among them of all of their ungodly deeds which they have committed in an ungodly way and all the harsh things which ungodly sinners have spoken against them. These are words from the infallible word of God, the Bible. It's not what man believes. What man says, what God says is true and all of his works are done in truth and in righteousness. What you need more than a pulse, more than breath in your lungs is the breath of God to be breathed in you, the spirit of the living God. You need a new heart. You need the righteousness of Jesus Christ. Don't trust Come in your Christ. No more time to pray. You're praying with fire, young people. You're not serving God. You know that he is God, but you suppress the truth in wickedness. And we love your souls. We're here to plead with you today. We're here to plead with you today. To be reconciled. Get right with your maker. Think about your lies. Right now, you know that you're not right with God. Deep in your conscience, in the depths of your soul, that this is true, that God is manifesting the truth to you today, that you can be right with God through Jesus Christ, and how will you respond to the gospel call? Yeah, good. Hey. Yeah. So, I like, so, even if I'm a gay guy who likes to praise Satan while I'm sex with my boyfriend, can I get redeemed? Can I get redeemed? If God saves you, He regenerates your whole nature, and you will be redeemed from all of your iniquities and every lawless deed. So you won't do it. If you're in that, it'll be, it'll be a miracle for you, God to pull you out of there just like anybody else, right? It doesn't matter. Murder, blasphemer, idolater, fornicator, you're a liar, thief. God saves sinners in Christ. But if He doesn't save you, you will run to hell in your abominable filth. And Nick, when you'll pay the penalty for it. Oh, yes, sir. Give a couple of these, man. Give some of your friends. Yeah, God bless is that, is that your friend? Uh. Yeah, praise God, guys. And that goes to faculty members, parents, rich and poor, low and high, young and old. If you don't have the Lord Jesus Christ, you don't have life. You're out of covenant with God. Oh, hallelujah. What a glorious time out here today, guys, huh? Praise His holy name.